I don't think I can do this anymore, Ronaldo. No, please, Maria. Give me a second chance. But what if you hurt me again? I I couldn't bear that kind of heartbreak, Ronaldo. It was just too much. Maria, me and Mar, my love for you will never fade. Like the flames of a rising sun, so my heart will never stop beating for you. Hey Tara, how are you doing? Yeah, I know breakups can be hard, but fear not, I'm here to help. Did you bring more chocolate? No, but I did bring some encouraging Bible verses and my optimistic presents. Thanks. I think I'll stick to watching Twilight and anything that features Tom Holland. No, not again. Remember the last eight breakups? Nine. What? There were nine, remember? Scott, the strangely athletic Star Wars nerd. The reason I wasted two and a half hours watching The Rise of Skystalker. Do you really think watching an unholy amount of TV will make you feel better? It's a process! <laughs> Can you bring me that box? Listen, I know life stinks right now. What? Is therapeutic? And he needs to pay for his crimes. This isn't healthy and definitely not how God would want you to respond. Also, borderline psycho. Just being honest. I'm here for you. Don't you remember what God did to those evil kings in the... Those books in the Bible about kings? First and second kings? Yeah! If God can do all of that, I think it's fair that I also get to have a little justice done. But he's God, and he can do whatever he wants. And those were some pretty evil dudes. I doubt that your ex did anything that terrible. Okay. Clearly, you're very upset about this. Maybe you should call him. Tell him how he made you feel. Let out all your frustration. Yeah, I should. Okay, this whole Gollum vibe we've got going on, it's freaking me out. No. I should start online dating. What? Yeah, I'll find the hottest boy on there and make Jake so jealous he'll be begging to have me back. And then, I'll, uh, and then, after dragging him along for a few weeks, I'll give him a second chance. We'll get married after dating for like a month and then have three kids, girl, boy, girl, bam! Can we pray? Yeah, I feel like we should pray. Anything in particular you want me to pray for? Strength? Patience? Sanity? Your boyfriend was a garbage. Ten more pints of ice cream. <laughs> the ability to live without a heart. <sighs> it's alright. You know there's a lot more to life than boyfriends. I'm sure you can say that, you've never had one. Yes. Which is why you can trust me when I tell you that contrary to what every emotionally unstable teen girl thinks, you do not need a boyfriend to be happy. How, how do you do it? Don't you wish for someone in your life to tell you how pretty you are? For someone to say as you wish one of us can do something? Someone to give you chocolate bears. Sorry, bears? Yes, of course I want to find that special someone. But my whole life isn't about that. 
What you need is to focus on what really matters. My social media followers. What? No! Your relationship with God. Remember, in the end, when we go to heaven, boys won't matter. What will matter is what you did for God. Look. The world and its desires pass away, but the man who does the will of God lives forever. How great is the love the Father has lavished on us, that we shall be called children of God. See, boyfriends will come and go. God will always be there for you. He will always love you. So don't you think that's a relationship worth investing in? Yes. So? So? I should probably stop crying over my no good rotten slowly should be stabbed with a dagger X. And? And I should probably spend more time in the Bible. I'm really happy to hear you say that. You know that God does have that special something for you. He'll work it out in His timing. No need to rush, okay? Mm. You think he'll send me a guy with a British accent who loves dressing up as Spider-Man on Halloween? Sorry, still got taught on the brain. Let's pray. <laughs>